right guys, top of the morning. It's about 5.30. I'm at the Jersey Shore. I haven't got much luck uh, catching stripers this fall. So it's early November right now. I'm really hoping I could get a nice striper today. The other day I got a really small one, but nothing crazy, so. I'm gonna throw this uh, one ounce bucktail here and let's see what we could get okay if i'm not gonna get anything on this i'm gonna switch it over to like a sp minnow or your zuri uh so let's see what we could get let's go fishing <laughs> Got it. Fish on, guys. Fish on. First striper. Nice. On the bucktail. <laughs> finally, guys. Finally. Oh, man. Let me get into my bucket. Finally, guys. There we go, it's a baby. Baby striper guys. Really, really small. But uh really really small guy, but gonna let him go. Awesome guys, awesome. So guys, I'm gonna show you how I use my bucktail. This is a three quarters of an ounce bucktail with a Z-Man paddle tail. You go a little shorter, you get a little longer. I got 30 pound leader with a tactical angle clip. So what I do on my bucktails, at the beginning I was, you know, a little hesitant how to use this, but this is actually one of the most effective lures that you could use. You could swim in at the bottom, you could swim in the middle and the top. Depending how fast you reel it in and where your tip of your rod is, if your rod is more down, it's gonna be down in the bottom of the ocean. Going really, if it's hitting the bottom, you reel it in faster. So it'll pick up and it'll just glide right in the bottom. You could have your tip up in the middle and you could have it swim in the middle. Uh, me, I like to have it really down or really high up. I cast it out. Put the rod between my legs. I'm gonna reel in the slack really quick. And then, depending on where you wanna fish it, you want it more like top of the water, have your tip up, reel it in a little faster, okay? Just like this. Then your bucktail is gonna be more of a top water, okay? Sometimes they're not there. So, what I do, have you tip down reeling a little slower okay longest is not hitting the bottom then you're gonna have the right presentation Mo the most important thing is having the right weight normally I carry a three quarters or one ounce or one and a half ounce I normally don't go over one ounce here in the surf uh, sometimes I'll go one and a half maybe two at the jetties but the current is really strong and the water is deep but right now the conditions are pretty calm here at the beach there's like maybe two three feet of three foot of waves here but you know there's no wind and the wind is actually coming from the west so it's behind me if it's touching the bottom boom 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 like that 
like hitting the bottom you want to reel in faster okay and also while you're reeling it in you could give it a, a bump like that okay once in a while reel it in and like that i don't i won't go down okay not like this i'll go up okay so keep practicing with the bucktail it's actually one of the most effective this will work spring summer fall okay it's a very good lure got it let's go Let's get it, guys. Small one. Not bad. Striper. Nice striper, guys. Nice one. Not bad. Got it. Nice striper, guys. Finally. Finally got one, guys. It looks pretty beat up, but it looks okay. Oops. Alright, guys. We'll let this guy go. There he goes. Nice. So guys, right now it's eight o'clock. I was only able to catch those two fish. One being around 15 inches, 12 inches, really small. And another one about 21 to 24 inches, a little bigger. You know, it's more like it. I'm just throwing my bucktail out there and just see what I could get. I was throwing some top water lures and they weren't hitting it, but no wind it's only like what two to five miles per hour winds the it's getting colder though it's 55 degrees it's supposed to get colder overnight uh so i'm just gonna call it a day thanks for watching catch you next time